Dogs have won the hearts of humans. Canines topped the pet ownership chart in many countries. But how did it all start? Where and when did the domestication of wolves occur? And why did we become friends so quickly? Here is what today's science says about the key drivers of dog domestication. Approximately 400,000 years ago, early humans arrived in Europe during their migrations. There, they encountered several wolf-like canids. They had similar features, a graceful body with comparatively long legs, long thin snouts and large carnassial teeth. The association of hominids with these canids at this early stage did not imply taming or early domestication. It is likely that early humans simply hunted these animals. At paleontological sites in China, remains of hominids and wolves were found together. They were small predators with a more slender snout but large teeth. The bones of these canids were found in refuse heaps, near but not in Paleolithic camps themselves. Most likely, these animals were simply used for food. The remains of wolves are also widely represented in a cave in the south of France. These were already larger wolves, which became some of the top predators of Eurasia in those times. Early humans placed wolf skulls at the entrance of each shelter. It is possible that the wolf skulls were used to ward off evil spirits, or else those early hominids had a wolf cart. The domestication of the wolf marks a veritable revolution in the history of human communities. Most likely, wolves and human beings began their mutually beneficial partnership around 40,000 years ago, which led to the emergence of proto-dogs in various parts of Eurasia. The three earliest of these dogs were found in Europe and Siberia. A single specimen, namely the Guayet dog, was previously thought to be the oldest specimen morphologically related to a dog. However, recent 3D analysis showed the remains were in fact those of a wolf. Another fossilized skull found in Siberia was more reminiscent of modern dogs than of wolves. It has a shorter and broader snout associated with domestic dogs, but the teeth more similar to those of wolves. The third dog-like skull was found in the Czech Republic. It also clearly points to wolf domestication. Moreover, analysis of the teeth indicates that these canines had a different diet compared with that of wolves. All these proto-dogs are unlikely to be the direct ancestors of today's dogs. They were not pets, in today's sense of the word, but they were more like companions of sorts. For example, the Chauvet cave in France preserves something exciting, the footprints of a child and many prints of a large canid. The prints have a shortened middle toe on the front paw, which indicates a dog rather than a wolf. This finding suggests that approximately 26,000 years ago, a child walked inside the cave accompanied by a tame dog. The direct ancestors of today's dogs began to emerge around 17,000 years ago. They became a consistent attribute of human settlements in that period, as is evidenced by dog remains discovered at several archaeological sites throughout Europe. For example, one of the most ancient domestic dogs lived in the Basque country in Spain. This was shown by analysis of a canid humerus. One or many domestication events would have occurred in France. Interestingly, all these fossils belonged to small dogs. Another evidence of an ancient dog was found in Switzerland. A large maxillary fragment found in a local cave is considerably smaller than those of wolves recovered from the same site. Researchers have also found dog fossils in Germany and Italy. The morphology and genetics of these dogs clearly distinguish them from local wolves. During this period, a close emotional bond between dogs and people established itself. This is evidenced by numerous examples of dogs buried alongside people at ancient burial sites. 
The following finds have also greatly contributed to our understanding and knowledge of early dogs. One of them is the Ice Age puppy that was exposed by the thawing of the permafrost, complete with its skin, fur and internal organs. All external signs and scan results indicate that it was a primitive dog. Other remains from the Siberian Arctic show that domesticated dogs were kept by humans almost 10,000 years ago. Moreover, the dogs appear to have been bred in two sizes. The smaller dogs were used for sledding, and the larger ones, possibly, were bred to hunt polar bears. They are also the earliest known dogs to exhibit a different color from the Arctic wolves. The oldest confirmed remains of a dog in the Americas are a tiny ancient bone fragment found in southeast Alaska and individual burials of dogs in Illinois. Analysis of their teeth and bones suggests the dogs were fish eaters, which means they were either fed by humans or allowed to scavenge near human settlements. Placement of the dogs in their own graves indicates that these animals were held in high regard by ancient people. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.